It's a little after four in the morning and my son can't sleep, so he's sitting here beside me. I figured might as well do some modeling. Um, I have uh, gotten rid of the elastics here and uh, I'm going to be doing them again a different way. There's something else that I need to do. I need to put a piece back there. So I'm going to show you uh, how I'm going to do that and that might be all I do uh, right here. So I'm going to bring in a plane. Let's turn on my screencast case. All right, I'm going to rotate X90. Look from the front. Scale this in the X. <laughs> yeah, eat your orange and pretzels. And uh, this is going to sit back in, in behind here. And uh, I just want to look at the approximate size of this thing. I think I'm going to bring this down a little bit further. Down a little further to attach. It'll have that in there. Something like that. All right, so here's what we're going to do here. I'm going to select these two vertices and shift control B. And palm down kind of like this. And grab these and bring them down a little bit more. J to join. I'm going to put an edge loop here and I'm going to bring an edge loop up. Up about there. Okay. I'm going to take this face, shift D, pull it out. It's P to break it out. And we'll look from the front, scale it down. I'm going to be using this to make a hole in here. Scale that a little bit more in the Z. Uh, something like that. Okay. Uh, shift control will be again. And we're going to round this off nicely. Like that. Select it. E to extrude and put it through. I want to flip my polys though. Select it all, Alt N calculate outside with this one selected I'm going to shift and click that one press N and use bool tool difference and I'm just going to go ahead and apply it so I'll have that okay all right so I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to give this some thickness like this and then in edge selection I'm going to select all these on that one sharp edges around the side and at the bottom and there we go okay we're gonna bevel those control B and pull and do something like that num, num, num. num 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 and select all the way around here and on the back the same thing right here and we'll bevel that okay good now shade smooth and on this I'm also going to put weighted normal and auto smooth oh hang on commercial Day break one. The commercial, yeah, the commercial break there we go there we go Let's um, give, this, yeah, give this a bit more thickness. Pull it back in here. Yeah, and I now have that as the means to somehow join to the to the batteries. So, like I say, I um. Uh, I'm going to be redoing the elastics. I'll also show you just quickly that I've changed this to a more cylinder. I may do those um, spades or whatever you call those things that connect to terminals. Um, I've shortened these a little bit so it looks like the batteries could actually clip in there before it was really blocking their access. So I've done that. Um, I did add another piece under, uh, under the wing nuts here. And that's about it that I've changed. All right, so I'm going to do a different way to do elastics uh, later that uh, Jack uh, Jack Perry has shared with me. A really great way to do that. And I'll do that in the in the next video. So I just wanted to quickly do that. 
And, uh, and of course, I mean, I could still go back in here and edit the size of that, but I think I'm all right with the stylized version uh, of this. So thanks for watching.